What's up guys, this is Sam. Today we're gonna to be doing a test between Face ID on the iPhone 10 that just came out today and Touch ID on the around month old iPhone 8. There's been a lot of controversies about the iPhone 10 so far when it comes to Face ID being better than Touch ID, faster, slower. I wanna to try to answer some of those questions in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump in. So to make the playing field as even as possible, I'm gonna be resetting up Touch ID on the iPhone 8 and Face ID on the iPhone 10 to make sure that they're even, they have the same new data rather than a fingerprint from three months ago and a face just from a few hours ago. Ago. We're going to start with the iPhone 8, head over to Touch ID and Passcode. Hopefully none of you saw my Passcode there. I'm going to delete both of these fingerprints that are currently there and add a new one by scanning in my right thumbprint. It was kind of hard to make it even as far as the literal biometric data because obviously you can't scan a thumb when it comes to Face ID, but you sure can for Touch ID. So I scanned in my right thumb. The process was relatively quick, like normal, and it completed after just a few seconds. And I wanted to test this on the iPhone 8 to make sure everything was working properly and we wouldn't have any uneven advantage or disadvantage during the test between Touch ID on the iPhone 8 and on the iPhone 10. Looks good on the iPhone 8. Let's go ahead and switch over to the iPhone 10. Swipe up, it unlocked already with Face ID, but we want to clear that out just to make sure everything is fresh, even though I just did that scan a little bit ago. Now that we're in the Face ID and Passcode Preference panel on the iPhone 10, I'm going to start setting up my face for Face ID. The process is very interesting, but I'm not the biggest fan. Is it easy? Absolutely. Is it simple? 100% percent can anybody understand it definitely but the way you do it is you crane your neck around or move your head in a circular direction to register your face and I totally get why they did this they want to get a good scan of your face from every angle and it makes sense but at the same time it wasn't natural and I had to keep looking down and then moving my neck back again and it wasn't natural it definitely was not as easy or as fun as just setting your fingerprint on the fingerprint sensor doing that 10 20 times to get a good scan and then moving on you have to move your neck around and you have to hold the phone so close and it's hard to make sure you're doing everything right while you're not making eye contact with the actual phone. Sort of weird, but we did get it set up. It was pretty easy for what it was, just not the most natural thing. Tested it out in unlocking the iPhone 10. We'll do it one more time and it looks like we are good to go. Now both of these set up really quickly, so at this point I don't know who's going to win, but let's go ahead and jump in and see if Face ID or Touch ID is quicker. Everything is finally set up and ready to go between Face ID on the iPhone 10 in my left hand and Touch ID on the newish iPhone 8 in my right hand. I cannot wait to see what the answer is. It's coming in 3, 2, 1. All right, Touch ID definitely taking the W there, but of course we cannot run just one test. We have to try it a couple more times. Here we go again in three, two, one. Once again, Touch ID won, and I think that's because Face ID has to scan so much more. I want to run this test one more time just to make sure this is going to be the final verdict that Touch ID is faster. Here we go, three, two, one. You can see the screens are coming on at the exact same time, so there's no advantage for the iPhone 8 or disadvantage for the iPhone 10. Touch ID is simply faster at this point in the game, and as crazy as that might sound, I think it's because Face ID is more secure. You might say, how can that be? This is using cameras, not an actual sensor, and the stat that Apple shared at their September event blew my mind. I didn't know this before they announced it. If you use Touch ID, any device from the iPhone 5S all the way up to the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus, there's a 1 in 50,000 chance that a random person will be able to walk up to you and unlock your phone with their fingerprint which really is not that high of a number apple says that face id is one in one million there's a one in one million chance that a random person that walks up to you on the street could use their face to unlock your iphone versus one in fifty thousand with touch id obviously it sounds a lot more secure it takes a little bit longer i'm thinking because it is scanning so many more data points the ir dot projector projects thirty thousand dots on your face when face id works to make sure that it is as secure is possible so even though face id may be more secure when it comes to raw speed touch id is the clear winner on a side note i just dropped some new merch so if you want to check out these cool iphone 10 shirts you can pick one up for yourself and help support me by visiting the link down below in the description if you enjoyed this it does help me out if you drop a like and share it with somebody else if you found it useful subscribe for more videos like this in the future i've been sam i hope you are doing great thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one